There are several ways to go about creating skeletons in Modeler, and I thought we would take a look at using curves or splines to, to create the skeleton. So what I'm going to do is I've got a character loaded. I'm going to go to Layer 2, put the character in the background, and let's move to the side view. And we'll create some uh, spine, neck, and head bone uh, bones for uh, or skeletons to to work with. So what I'll do is go over to the Create tab, and I like working with um, Spline Draw, so I'm going to use that. And I'm just going to create. Now, for every two points between those two points, I can turn those into a skeleton. So I just keep that in mind that that could be a skeleton, that could be a skeleton. This could be a skeleton, and here, and here, and I'll do one big one there, and then I'll come over to, say, the leg, and I'll do a little hip bone, thigh, calf, I like a little ankle bone, and then we could do foot and toe. Okay. And I'm going to grab that curve and just move it over, kind of rotate it. Okay, it's just curves right now and I'm going to hang on to those curves. Let's go ahead and mirror that over. Okay. And we could keep going. I could make the arms and well, let's actually let's just go ahead and do real fast just so we can see. I'm going to build clavicle. I like having a small little shoulder bone. We'll do the upper arm, the lower arm, and let's just do one big one for the hand. Okay, I'm going to move that into to place, and then I'm going to mirror that over. Okay, and that'll be a starting point. So I got all these different curves, and that's going to be uh, where I want to draw the skeleton. So I'm going to go and Let's go over to the Setup tab, and under Skeletons, More, let's Convert Skeletons. And so what happens is, we get Skeletons placed in between each node, in between each point on the, uh, the curve. So we've got our setup here. If I want, I'm going to go over to uh, Statistics panel, select all my curves, cut, paste them into a new layer because I might be able to just use that for another character just as a starting point. It's really easy to, to move the joints there. And then of course if I'm if I'm ready I'm going to take these um, skeletons uh, and I'm going to move them and over to layer one in the character. Okay. And then what I can do is I don't want the curves to show up in layout so I'm going to go over to the layers panel and I'm just going to uncheck them, the visibility for layout. I'm going to uncheck them there. Let's send this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save this, and then I'm going to send it over to layout. Okay, so we get our, our character, and we won't see any bones or skeletons. They're there. All we have to do is come over to the Setup tab, Convert Skeletons. It, let it lets me know that we converted 28 skeletons into bones. Okay, I'm going to just go to bone x-ray so we can see them. And there we go. So a really quick way of drawing out your skeletons is using curves. One interesting thing about using curves is that if I wanted to, I could use points off of the object to create the curve and then convert those to skeletons. So again, once you have the curves, we can select them. We can go over to set up skeletons more convert skeletons okay and we don't lose those curves which is great because we can always use them for something else uh, either a different character or a different modeling operation and we'll have what we need so that's a quick look at using curves with convert skeletons in modeler to create our skeletons